Hello everyone. Today we've got something a little different. We've got a Victrola 78 RPM record player. It's hand crank. As you can see right here. And it's completely mechanical. There's no outlet on anywhere. There's no speaker. Nothing. It's a very simple mechanical device and it's pretty cool. So I thought I'd show you all how it works. Might not use the right terms here, but anyway, this is what I think is the tone arm. And here's the head, or the reproducer I think it's called, which rides on the record. There's the needle, which rides in the individual grooves in the record. And the needle is connected to a diaphragm inside this reproducer here, and the diaphragm wobbles back and forth just like a regular speaker and that's what and that is what makes the noise the sound and uh, that vibrating air or the vibrating pressure in the air travels down this tone arm down through here and inside here there's a kind of a spiral horn that uh, you can sort of see it's a little bit dark but there's a you can see I can, my hand in here there's a hole in here that's where the horn goes it's all internal this was the uh, the mp3 player of the 1920s but uh, it has replaceable needles we've got a bunch of needles in here and the interesting thing is that the needles are the volume control there's a thick medium and thin needle and the thicker the needle the less the needle flexes which means it moves the diaphragm more and produces a louder sound but a thinner needle flexes more and uh, makes the diaphragm vibrate less and thus it produces a softer sound and it's all mechanically operated again there's a speed, a fast and slow selector speed here, speed selector. Um, it operates off of a fly, fly ball governor sort of mechanism. I forget the model n name or number of this record player, but I do know that they were very popular in the uh, mid to late 1920s, mainly because they were. Um, as I understand, they were pretty cheap and easily attainable by your common person. So I've got one of my favorite records on here. It's Coming Through the Rye by Geraldine Farrar. And, uh, the brake doesn't quite work on this. There we go. It uh, operates by, it shuts off by uh, putting a little brake shoe into the inside of this turntable and when you turn it on by pressing this button it uh, releases a brake shoe. So I got it cranked up and I'll turn it on and I'll play you whoops, oh it's not turning on because the arm is too far in. Turn it on, slowly let this down
by just hitting a little lever. Sometimes the tone arm does that itself depending on the grooves in the record. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.